I'm part of the third generation of the American auto age. I've had five vehicles in my life. I love the convenience and independence that comes with car ownership because there's nothing like cruising in the summertime with the windows down and the music up. And now in 2010, the US has more cars per person than any other country. And for the past century, the US has been the number one buyer of automobiles. But as nations and economies grow, so does demand for transportation. The problem? As we all know, petroleum is not a renewable resource. More importantly, oil production has peaked. Petroleum products will never be as plentiful or accessible as they are right now. All of the easy to reach oil sources have been tapped and the oil that remains will be difficult to extract. So everything that depends on petroleum will become much more expensive. The idea of peak oil, of running out of petroleum, applies to more than just gasoline and personal cars. Anything that requires transport will be affected. Travel, groceries, household items, commuting to work, even petroleum-based products, or the production of other products, is going to cost more. Plastics, shoes, tires, and wars will determine which nations will control what oil remains. In the past, cars were expensive luxury items, but after World War II, many middle-class families could afford one car. Now, there are so many cars on the road, practically one for every adult, that driving anywhere becomes a hassle, a necessary inconvenience, as many of us need a car for work, for school, and for life. Peak oil will affect all of us. This may seem like a gradual change, but it will result in monumental differences in our daily lifestyles. By preparing, scarcity can be avoided. It's not the end of the world. It's an opportunity for change. So, do you have to sell your car? No. We can enjoy a high quality of life while choosing renewable resources. Each of us can find alternatives that work well. We've become so efficient at using gasoline for transportation What's to say that we can't be just as innovative in finding alternatives? Think about how you're using oil and take steps to help. Make a commitment to break off from oil this year.